sales report a week ago, and I'm in some straits wanting it, I can tell you. Maybe a good one if I heard it, but gentleman Mr. Finch has taken it upon himself to go all unreachable on me. Not the first time, granted, but I'm fast near the point of making it his last, I can tell you. He's got a full-time job, granted, but it's the pills I blame, I swear. Ever since his divorce, that man's been up and down more than a yo-yo on a pogo stick. Actually, I'd be happy to throw you a few hundred credits if you dropped by his apartment and gave that fool a kick. Just a friendly one, of course. Not just a mind for good eyes, I see. But why exactly would I do that? Enough. Here's half now, but not a cent more till I see some business done. Finch lives near Fixer's Hope. You know it, right? Apartment 112. No one home last time I checked, but you look like the lucky sort. If he's out, ask around his neighborhood. He's known around those parts.
choice, miss. A padicious choice. It adds spice to your youthful beauty. Uh, with a heavy dash of leave me alone. I cannot grow human. That human is patented. I must buy it from them. And then I go to their stores and they don't sell the seeds, just the cumin powder. Something about health and hygiene, they tell me. But how can you make real kofte with powders and packets? All the flavor gone. No appreciation of all that. stumble upon a bag or two of human seeds. I'd happily take them off your hands. Happily. And generously. Not in our offices. Only staff and paper there. So much paper. In our forests, fast becoming a memory. But yes, human seeds. Try looking around the docks. Uh, in the warehouses. All deliveries go through there. But you better hope for the luck, my friend. I've been on the force, your garage starts feeling like a weapon store. I'll make it worth your while, all right? Why would I do that? Well, I'd prefer you didn't start a firefight if you can help it. But it might well get that way. Here, take this. Interested in helping a cop out? Look, if something. 
something is going on, you can bet they'll be looking out for me. I won't lie, I'm not equipped for any escalation. I need a ghost. They don't know you. Unless I'm mistaken, you've got some tricks up your sleeve. They're not only there. As punks go, the slices are pretty civilized. Never had a problem with them before. They stick to their own. Bunch of tech heads, salvaging from junk and old parts. Making stuff to take out for trading. Narcs and weapons, too, of course. Not all legal, but not worth us paying at the time of day. Something's changed with the slicers recently, though. Different activity, moving some serious hardware. I'd like to invite you to peruse some of the finest lethal and non-lethal equipment in Harbor Prime. Everything you see here is available exclusively here, not elsewhere, at all. <laughs> ah, that old tin kicker. Save a penny, lose a face. Now, <clears throat> I've heard that he makes weapons out of spare parts. Who's ever heard of a gun made out of pieces? Mm, look, all you need to know is that these here weapons are factory direct, okay? Quality assured. Oh, yes. It's true that some customers are prepared to put savings before quality, but you seem to be much more of a, mm, a discerning type. Am I right?
my mother. She's... I... Really? There, there might be. We need, um... We need money for the operation. It's cancer. Or the spleen, they say. She needs a new one, but it's real expensive. Here. This is my mum. Mum? Do you hear me? Who is this, dear? A lady. From the outside. I thought... I thought maybe she could help. Just maybe. Is she a doctor? savings, so 500 would be enough. We understand. It, it is a lot of money. As soon as I get better, I, I'd find a way to repay you. You... You mean seriously? No. It, it's, against, it's against our faith to steal. It's wrong.
Flow with it and let your mind. 